<laughs> Do you know, it's so lovely to, it's lovely to see you both. Uh, yes, we haven't likewise. met before. We have met numerous times yeah, over the years. It was, it was only a few weeks ago, I think. Well, yeah. the last time, I think, was four years ago. Yeah. But, uh, let me just show you something from slightly <laughs> oh, longer be fun, isn't it? than that. Here okay. you go. Yeah. Stefan Dennis, good morning and welcome to the Hello, program. good evening and welcome. First time in London uh, since last September. Yeah. yeah. And you decided to spend a nice, warm Christmas in Britain. <laughs> yeah, well, it's warm as long as you rugged up. Rugged up. About that, <laughs> no, that was 1990. What did you <laughs> say? Look, about 10. 10 years old. I was about 10. 1990. I was, I was born then. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thanks. I'm <laughs> rapidly going off you. Thanks so much. <laughs> yeah, great. <laughs> Uh, so it's because <laughs> you love coming over because we're massive fans of of neighbours yeah. and you're always you know so very warmly welcome when you come over. Yeah, yeah. no, it's lovely. Well, cause of course, I lived here for a while, as you yeah. know. Yeah, yeah. And so, uh, so this this new the new look neighbours it, it went through a stage of being a bit dark, didn't it? Mm. And and now there is a definitely a sort of positive feel to it. More families coming in. Yeah, well, yeah. that's what they're trying to do. When I say they're trying to, they're very successfully bringing it back to where it was. They do, um, homeland, as they call it, which can't, kind of can't say that anymore because there's no Copyright. Homeland. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, they, they, they're trying to bring it back to that homegrown family field, sort of neighbours street, all of that, bring it all together that mm. way. Whereas it did, yeah, it start, started to go off the tracks a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it got to a was... point, we were saying, where every child on the street didn't have a parent. They were yeah. all oh, orphans. Yeah. And it was just a bunch of people living and in houses. Every, everybody was now. at each other's throats. Yeah. It was just, yeah it wasn't well, so well, you know, why don't you liven it up by blowing up ladders? <laughs> well, <you know. laughs> yeah, that's how positive. Yeah. I didn't realise. Yeah, the actual where, where Ramsey Street actually is, the fronts of those houses that you see are people actually really live in them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a real street. I didn't know that. Yeah, I just Court. assumed it was a set like. No, no, no. Pino Court. For no, it's not like what was the one over here where they built the entire street? The Coronation, Coronation street? street. No, not Coronation Street. Yeah. The other Brookside. One. Brookside. Brookside. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. And everybody thought that, as, as you think. Yeah. But that's actually a real street in, in Melbourne. Um, and so where we film all the exteriors of the houses, we're not allowed to go in them. Occasionally we, we get uh, a clearance to actually just go inside one of the front, front doors mm. if you're waiting, if there's a, a shot of us coming in or out a door. Um, but that's the most that we can do. So what they've actually done uh, over Christmas, they built all the, uh, well, three of the houses, they built uh, complete on the back lot, complete backyards and half of the houses. So you can finally have a barbecue in the so, back garden. So I know. Now that's we what can always film, yeah. The barbecues are always ha had on the drive out <laughs> Front. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> in, in the, the show. Oh, Look at this. Whose house is this? That, uh, that's is the that, Robbo's house, yeah. Is that your new house? Yeah, yeah, that's the back of the Robbo's. That is impressive. They really yeah. do look oh, great they, they, as well. There, there's two more and there's pools and spas. So it, oh, obviously look. they're trying to make it a lot more sunny. Yeah, see? So this is the yeah. biggest, apparently this is the biggest back lot uh, in the southern we hemisphere. We now have the biggest back lot on the, in the southern hemisphere. Which yeah. is a really uh, nice investment into a show when you think it's sort of 28 years on air and then suddenly they invest all this money back into it to, to obviously it, keep it, it going for... It was a nice confidence boost yeah, for everybody, yeah. I think, because they, they sunk a chunk of money into it. Mm. Yeah, well, it great. must be good for you guys, assuming that in this that we're going to see that you both managed that to here? survive and that you're okay. <laughs> I'm assuming you're not that close to the explosion because neither of you knew what happened. <laughs> so I think you're quite That's right, safe. we're here. We yeah. made it. You're quite safe. <laughs> we weren't at the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> but, it, but great that, as Holly said, all of this has been built, which is terrific for the characters, terrific for the for the show itself. Mm. That, that This has got to be years of, of, uh, of future shows because of the amount of money that they've, they've invested yeah, in Yeah, it. well, that's, yeah. that's the idea. I mean, it, whenever we have a big press day or something like that, uh, Richard, our executive producer or, our, uh, or one of the uh, execs from Fremantle itself, they'll always say, look, you know, we've been going 28 years and uh, look forward to another 28 yeah. years. And you sort of go, yeah, yeah. And then you go, well, actually, no reason why not yeah. at all. I mean, look at Coronation Street, what, 53rd yeah, year? No, exactly. yeah. 250 yeah. years that's been going. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I just want to ask you very briefly, because you've got a sort of minute or so left, um, is, um, is your foot... Now, uh, Paul mm -hmm. Robinson did actually lose a foot. Uh, I lost, lost a leg. It was a, it was a leg. Yes. I thought it was just your and foot. And you would be staggered how many people not just asked the question about the leg, but actually come up and, and just, it's like the pregnant women, you know, and just come up and rub their tummy. But it's never asking. mentioned in the show anymore. It's it's starting to be again because what happened was the producers <laughs> the producers cut the leg off and then sort of went. 
don't mention the war, just, you know, sweep it under the Let's carpet. Let's forget it ever happened. Forget it ever happened. Yeah. And I said, guys, you can't. I get accosted daily by people touching, wanting to know about the yes. leg. And, and Stefan's so good. Every <laughs> single scene, he'll be limping around. Like, I'll, I'll tune in sometimes and be like, oh, he's still limping. And we never mention it. I'm like, he's still limping. <laughs> but it was really <laughs> funny because I, I said to them, guys, you've got to, you've got to start just, yeah. you know, mentioning. I don't mean bring it, make flagship yeah. it or anything like that. But just or, of course, bring, in bring, soap, bring, it grows back. <laughs> yeah, well, that, <laughs> Dr. Carl is a miracle worker. Yeah. 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 Anything, that man. The Explosion, <laughs> Channel 5, 16th of April. You can catch it at 1.45, 5.30 and 10 o'clock. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, guys. Lovely, you. Lovely, you. Lovely to see you again. Great to see you. <laughs>